Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thanks for returning. And today's video is going to be kind of like a continuation of me adapting my Easy Life wheelchair and also taking along for the practice of packing up for the airport and how we did that and the things that we would change now knowing what we know and to hopefully help us in the future. Let me say this real quick. Um, we went to Nashville for just a weekend. By the time you guys see this, the weekend is now over. So we're back home. Obviously back home. This will also be my part of my Beyond the Camera series. Um, unfortunately, because I was t so busy, I didn't get to film anything of us being on our trip. Um, and I was tired from pulling the mess up, which I won't get into, um, later on in the video. Okay, now, I'm rolling into the video. Yeah. Okay, so now we're trying, I put in... This um, wedge thing that we got from online. Yeah, we ordered it online. One, two, three. Oh. Here it comes here. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh. Oh, that's really good. So, if that's the case, then we need that is good. We need to raise the foot rest. Yeah. I'm literally like, it's like sitting in my You like that? Realtor. That works good. And that's what our problem is. So, oh. Okay, fancy. so that is fancy scene. So I'm thinking. That's good. I like that. I do too. So, but we have to raise the footrest about what, three inches, John? Yep. And yeah. I think that'll solve our problems. Should I say, like, let's see if I can, like. Does it go up three inches? We might have to put a padding underneath her feet for her feet to. That's okay too. We've got lots of foams um, and pads and stuff like that. We have lots of things. And also, we can you you can kind of like put my marshmallow. Oh, that's too big. Mm -hmm. That'll fall off of that. Okay. That's too big. So um, we have things we can put under her feet to. And the head can fall off. Too. If it goes, you know, we'll bring it up as high as it'll go, and then we'll go from mm -hmm. there. Okay, so. I like this. And as I talk into that, I'm like arching. Mm -hmm. It handles it. That's true. Okay. Not like that, but that's a big part of. Mm -hmm. This is the process that we had to go through to get my airplane wheelchair on the plane, which my dad's holding up the book plate and then holding the chair. But I have no seat cushions, nothing like that. And we previously took out the battery, and the seat is no longer on it. 
this is the bag. So you can put an open bag. Um, cause it has to have a certain cushion, and then you put it, strap it down to make sure it's place. Also, please note that this is practice and not um, the real thing. Obviously, we're not doing this. So this is he's practicing on how to grab it so that he knows best. So there's also an extra strap for the bottom so that it doesn't get scratched. And then also my dad's practicing wheeling it so that he knows how to best secure it. So a good thing to know is the Easy Light Cruiser is not meant for special needs. It is geared towards geriatric people or people that once had the mobility slash can hold themselves up. Whereas we're just trying to figure out how to adapt it or for me and my needs so it's a lot of trial and error because it's not on the market for, like I said, special needs and we're just trying to make do. Now, before you say, just bring your wheelchair onto the plane. Oh no, no, honey, I'm not doing that. Um, my wheelchair is, yeah, it's just very expensive and the airlines are notorious to break it. So, before you guys go on and say, um, just bring on the airplane, no, 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 I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, because it go. what what happens with it, um, wheelchairs, it goes, like, underneath the plane where your, um, where, like, your luggage goes. And they are, they typically just toss it in there without really realizing, like, they're not very gentle, I would say, with the wheelchairs and the air traffic. So, that's why I'm not bringing my wheelchair onto the plane. Um, I have heard not very good stories about it, so I'm not bringing my full-time wheelchair onto a plane like ever. And that is why we get also why we get on there first. It's because once we're in our seat, we're, we're in our seat for good. So, starting with my foot plates, but they have like, a, it has one foot plate, and I didn't realize how much I arched until it's a CP thing. So, arching it, yeah, it's a CP thing, and it's how our body gets the air out to form the word to talk. So, I didn't realize. How much I did that until till the trip because usually I can't scoop myself up after I'm done talking in my custom wheelchair. But in my easy light cruiser, I could not, and I had to depend on other people to scoop me up. So, because it is geared towards the elderly or somebody that can, or somebody that once had the capability of holding themselves. So up, uh, the foot plate is naturally smaller because a lot of people don't have the um, arch to talk. To make that work, we're trying to think about possibly getting a custom foot plate because we think that would be the probably the most helpful. I had like multiple seat cushions and one for the airport, which came with the wheelchair. Good for easy light. They did. They gave us so many bags for the wheelchair. For the airport, we used a cushion that came with the wheelchair. However, 
me for the majority of the time when I'm not in the air, we use um a cushion lap cushion. <sighs> um but also what we did was a lot of my seat because of how I arch and with me talking a lot I'll have to have I'll have Anon put a photo of what my seat looks like. My custom wheelchair seat because they have to, they actually, they put like a wedge in the, like custom made a wedge within the seat. I, they were able to custom make it so that it was a little bit tilted so that my, when I arched, my, I did not pull out of the seat but with my other, with my triple wheelchair. I do not have the capability of having custom seats. We kind of had to, well, we kind of we had to DIY it. As far as I am, we had to find wedges. So what we planned to do is, which the wedge did work. It did not take up the whole span of the wheelchair seat. So when I would talk, it would it would slowly move its way out. Next time we make an adjustment, we are going to glue the two wedges together because yes, we bought two of them. And then make it the span on the wheelchair so that hopefully, as I arch, it has nowhere to move. Cross our fingers, that's how it turns out. We rented a Chevy Tahoe, which Hindsight is not the best card to run when you're a realtor user and have to be lifted in and on the card. Because getting me out wasn't so bad. It was the whole process of getting me in this in the seat and in the car because the the car was so high. Love the ride, but like if you can't really get in the car and then see that good then yeah, I, I love the car, but it was a lot of work to keep transferring in and out um, and put me back in the car, take me out of the car, you know, all that. To give you an idea of how many transfers I've had, we've had to do that, or, um, I think we count, we counted 12 transfers day one because we had the airport we had to do get me in and out of the airport and then we had to oh I had to go to the bathroom you know and that does not count or that does not count like going to bed if that was if that was going to bed and brush my teeth and going to the bathroom for the last time it would have been like 14 transfers which 12 and 14 is a lot that was a lot on my body and that is something I would keep in mind for the future. The amount of transfers I would do. I mean there was a bunch of good points but ultimately um, this trip really opened up our eyes to what would be possible and how we could want to improve, improve for next time um, and what we need to keep in mind for um, the future and how long I can be without my, my wheelchair. It was a good test and a good eye opener for me and my parents. I love my eye level. Yes, I appreciate it when I have it, but now that I didn't have it for the weekend, I know, I appreciate it so much more. The people in the airport, they were so nice and I'm so glad that we got to meet them. I just wanted to quickly add that we stayed at the same which we stayed with in Franklin, Tennessee. And this is not sponsored and this is not, any company that I mentioned is not sponsored by this. This is not sponsored by them or anything. I just think it, that would be helpful. Um, we stayed there once before. It has a um, 
a fully accessible shower and has like two bedrooms and then like a little living room area. Yeah, and it's like a roll, it's like a rolling shower, like no lip, anything like that. So basically, take my shower at home, which if you guys haven't seen those videos of the remodel, go watch those. But my own recommendation is to call ahead, especially if you're in special needs, the best thing to do, or having a wheelchair user, it's always a good idea to call ahead, explain um your situation and then the people can best help you um that work there so yes i just wanted to add that because it is such a great hotel unfortunately i did not film the bathroom i wish i did and hopefully we will be there um in the future so I can film it for you. So I would like to add any of this could change at any point because a lot of it has to do with like my mobility and how helpful I am with transfers. And also if I build up my strength, I can do a lot more. Like I'm more flexible and I'm more capable, you know. All those. So any of this that I'm about to say um, could possibly change in the future. The next section it will be uh, like the limitation we learned, which is either we have to drive so that I can bring my my motorized wheelchair in the future, or know like how much time I can be away from the wheelchair. Or my wheelchair. I would say limited transfers because doing 12 transfers, my arm was sore the first night from from doing the transfers. So I had to take Advil that night and then, or like, so doing 12 transfers is a lot, especially with my tight muscles. Um, yes, because with CP you can either have really tight muscles or very loose muscles. There isn't really in between. So, and I am a very, my case is a hyper. So that means my, my muscles are very tight. So I have very tight muscles. Just the constant in and out, that's a lot on my body. The next thing we learned, make sure when we rent a car, is the right height. Like we could have used an explorer a floor and explore or an escape because my dad has one of them anyway a four car and that's typically not as high so it's like a good height to transfer in and out of the car hopefully our changes that we mentioned previously will help with this but make sure the the um the wedge that we got doesn't move Definitely the next time we use it, make sure that we either have a solution for my foot plates to be either custom made or another solution so that we don't have to deal with my feet falling off when it arch. With that being said, that concludes the end of this video. Thank you for watching and remember to keep on rolling and I will see you next time. Bye!